task weaver on your local machine with an LLM of your choice using LM Studio. This is what our video today is about. Just simple, short and quick video about how to use task weaver, the new and exciting project by the Microsoft team with a local LLM using LM Studio. Um, I recorded a video yesterday about TaskWeaver and its capabilities and I'm going to explore it more in the upcoming videos but for today I wanted to focus on how you can locally install it because for me it's important to have also the ability to run such powerful code on my local machine with my own LLMs so in order to install TaskWeaver the process is pretty straightforward in case you don't have LM Studio yet, you should install LM Studio, go to LM Studio AI, and then just install whichever version you want based on your iOS, I mean, based on your operating system. This is how it looks like. Then you come here and you choose which model you want to run. In my case, I'm using Mistral. You start the server after you downloaded the Mistral. I mean, you download the you download the library that you want, and then you just start the server, and it starts running in the background. And now it's as if you have you actually have an API endpoint running on your local computer. So this covers um, like the prerequisite of having LM Studio installed and having a local LLM running. Now for actually integrating TaskWeaver with LM Studio, the next steps are as following. You come to, you clone the GitHub repository, you cd into the new directory, create a new environment, conda environment, so conda create dash n TaskWeaver, and then you select the Python version 3.11, then you activate the environment called the activate task weaver, install all the requirements, and then you enter Visual Studio code from the terminal or your mini conda command line. You just hit code and enter Visual Studio. By the way, all of these instructions are also available in the actual GitHub repository. So it's not complicated. It's very straightforward. You can just go down here and see exactly the instructions. Now that we've entered Visual Studio Code, the only difference that we need in order to, I mean, the only thing that we need to change in order to use LM Studio instead of using OpenAI API keys is you come here to this file, which is called TaskWeaver underscore config, and you change to these settings. So LLM API base has to be this, which you can basically copy from here, from your LM Studio. Next, the API key is needs to be null because you're not using an API key. You're using, as we said, a local LLM. The LLM model, in my case, is Mistral. You just need to input whatever model that you want. And we'll discuss which model should, which should you choose later. And this is a new line that you need to add which is LLM response. This is very important. You need to add this line. Now, we've sorted out everything. All that's left is just running this code. Basically, what we do is we are going to take this line of code. I'm, I will also drop this chunk of text in the video description so you can just copy and paste it. It will be easier for you, I guess. Then we come here and this is going to start running, hopefully. Let's see. It's supposed to run. Yes, it does. So TaskWeaver said, Hi, I am TaskWeaver and AI assistant. To get started, could you please enter your request? Yes, please print all even numbers between 12 and 48. And now it is starting to work on this end and you can also go to LM Studio and see that it has also started pulling the request and 
Now, in the meantime, while it's, it generates the response, let's discuss the downsides of using an LLM, a uh, local LLM in this case, especially if it's a quantized LLM and not um, a bigger um, file, which has a bigger, um, more data. This is a quantized version, it's only seven gigabyte. So it's, it's while it is faster, it is quite slow. Uh, so while it is faster, it isn't as powerful as the alternatives. And you can see now it's going to take a while to generate the response. But um, in this case, I'm, I'm using Mistral. If you want, you can choose a different um, model such as Starcoder or anything else that is available in LM Studio, as this will probably generate better results. I still believe that in order to use TaskWeaver and you know enjoy all the big benefits of TaskWeaver, it makes more sense. And so far, I mean, based on the current situations of the models, it makes more sense to use ChatGPT. I mean, GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 Turbo. But this is also an alternative, and as time goes by, I believe that the local LLMs will be more powerful and faster, and in that case, TaskWeaver locally might be very, very helpful. Now, a few more, more points. I'm going to test in the upcoming video, I'm going to test more use cases for TaskWeaver using GPT-4. Based on my first impression of TaskWeaver locally, I still believe that using code interpreter, uh, sorry, open interpreter locally is still a better alternative than using TaskWeaver at least for the use cases that I came up with. But as I said, TaskWeaver was just launched a few days ago and the sky is the limit. I think it's a very powerful tool when you know how to use it. And I'm sure that it will develop a lot very, very fast. So I really suggest staying updated and keeping an eye on what's going on when it comes to TaskWeaver. So what you can do, you can also hit the watch button. So you're, you're you, you will be alerted regarding any updates of the TaskWeaver um, project and also joining Discord um, channels that discuss TaskWeaver or Autogen because these channels are very progressed. People research and upload very interesting use cases. And normally when it arrives to YouTube, it's, I wouldn't say it's already old news, but it's somewhat already, it's, it's somewhat all news let's say youtube uh, creators such as uh, myself or other creators who have a bigger following they create stuff based on what is happening in the discord channel and what are people what people are discussing in the github repositories and in reddit or stuff like this so if you want to be a, a, a first mover and grab a real wide understanding broader perspective of TaskWeaver, I really suggest that you join Discord channels and obviously keep following my channel because I'm going to explore this uh, project and Autogen uh, deeply in the next few weeks. I guess that's it for today, guys. It was just a short video because I wanted to show you how to exactly, uh, how exactly you can use TaskWeaver locally. One thing that I forgot to mention, and this is very important, that I tried already yesterday to do this locally, but I encountered uh, a persisting issue until I realized that I had to update LM Studio. So if you are following my instructions uh, to the T, but still have any issues, make sure that you go to LM Studio and just download the latest version. And for me, it, uh, it solved my issue and hopefully it will also solve yours if you have any. Um, Again, that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Leave them in the comment section. I would appreciate if you can sub subscribe to the channel. And if you have any other ideas for videos or interested, uh, interesting use cases that you would like me to explore in the upcoming videos, please feel free to share them with me. Okay, it's actually been taking so long. I I forgot the fact that this script is still running in the background and I 
moved on and concluded the video. So as soon as I downloaded the video before uploading it back to YouTube, I realized that I actually forgot to show you the results. And this just comes to show you how slow is using how slow is it using task weaver uh, locally you can see the progress over here so i asked it to print all even numbers between 14 and 48 and then it uh, it responded loading the data file filter the data this is like the initial plan filter the data to include only even numbers report the result to the user this is another plan instruct code interpreter to load the data file filter the data to include only even numbers report report to uh, the result to the user and as you can see it is still uh, thinking and generating the code um, you can see over here like under the hood or behind the curtains of LM Studio and how it is actually creating the response. I don't think it makes much sense for me to uh, keep on streaming this. <laughs> As you can see, it's very slow. As I said, I don't think it is very powerful at the time being. But if any of you has a, a way stronger machine or other use cases, you might find this helpful. I believe that, again, it will be very powerful in the very, I mean, very soon, but at the moment, based on my impression, it's still not there. Um, running this type of task locally doesn't make much sense. And yeah, I think this is my first impression. If this changes, I will definitely 